The common current understanding about peripheral neuropathy is that it's a progressive and incurable disease process. So all of the treatments designed around peripheral neuropathy are sort of to try and manage it. You know, medicines like Lyrica or uh, Gabapentin or narcotic pain medication. And then there's a whole slew of other treatments that really sort of cross over into the snake oil, uh, you know, department. None of that even claims to cure neuropathy. It's sort of all just to try and manage the symptoms. One of the most important advances in the treatment of peripheral neuropathy is the concept of what is actually causing the pain. In many patients with peripheral neuropathy, the actual clinical symptoms, the numbness, the burning, the tingling, the weakness, etc., is secondary to mechanical compression that is developed. So these nerves are being squeezed or pinched. There's a metabolic process um, in diabetics, for example, or somebody with hypothyroidism, although very often you can't really identify whatever the underlying process is. But that's not as important as the um, uh, what it does to the nerves, which is it causes these nerves to swell. And so these nerves become pinched. They run in tight spaces, especially around joints and, and places like that. And so if you have a defined space and all of a sudden the nerve starts to swell and become larger, pretty soon the tissue around the nerve at, starts acting as a mechanical compression point on the nerve. And this is what is actually causing much of the clinical symptoms in patients with peripheral neuropathy. If you can identify which nerves and exactly at what locations the pressure on the nerves is, is being applied, you can go in surgically and decompress the nerves. The concept is the same as you would do for somebody who has carpal tunnel syndrome. It's well accepted to decompress nerves in the upper extremity for somebody with diabetes who has the same symptoms in their hands and arms as they do in their lower legs and feet, but nobody ever thinks about doing surgery for the nerves down the lower legs. And it's the same process that's going on. So that's really an important point to understand in regards with treatment of peripheral neuropathy nowadays.